out here this morning using my iPad pad and reading some of my mail enjoying the morning beautiful morning and it dawned on me something I've overlooked or has gone on this summer um, usually we are just covered up with wasps and this is uh, early September September 3rd none no mud daubers no wasps just not here all summer it's been that way so we don't know what's going on our behaviors around the farm are, have been pretty much the same so let me just walk around a little bit and show you what i'm talking about <clears throat> now this is not the neatest most up-to-date porch but it serves its purpose but back up in there is the old wasp nest we do have a few hummingbirds this morning. A small wasp nest there. Up there, these are left over from a year or so ago. No new ones this year. And here, we I'd have to be ducking and swatting at them normally this time of year. There's one wasp on that nest. I think it might be dead. Been there a while. Nothing new, no new mud dauber nests. There's old mud dauber nests up there and one there from a year ago. Where'd they all go? Um, don't know. It's a little disturbing, even though I don't like having wasps flying around my head. And the mud daubers never really bother us. They're just here. On a normal year, I got a fly swatter and one of those electrified tennis rackets you can swat insects with over here near where I sit on this porch. They've just been sitting there. I don't know if I've used them maybe one time this entire summer. Or normally I'm having to replace batteries and, and just keep it really handy. And also we have used insect spray. Uh, for hornets, or uh, excuse me, wasps. Hornets usually aren't a problem for us here. Normally every year we would just use up several cans of wasp spray trying to defend ourselves from all the wasps up, up here on this porch and on the, in our other uh, outbuildings. These things are basically full. The only thing I've used them on this year that I can remember is on yellow jackets. Um, they do advertise on the back that it does work on yellow jackets. Most wasp sprays don't seem to touch them. Also wanted to mention, we never spray anything on mud dauber nests like this. Um, they're very uh, unaggressive, and we've never had a problem being stung by them. They'll just live around us and fly around us, and, and they're just not a problem. It's only the wasp and yellow jackets, particularly the yellow jackets, we've been stung so much by they're usually in the ground I believe one of the yellow jackets nests was here I believe and the other ones basically been covered up because that was a little earlier in the summer so that did seem to help eliminate the yellow jackets but uh, these I don't know what you call them paper wasps or whatever build these paper nests up under our eaves um, I don't remember using it at all on them this year. We, now you can't tell it on here. I decided not to even touch them, not to wash them, but there's some droppings off that crepe myrtle tree. But we hardly ever have to clean the windshield we have some bug splatter. We just drove this all the way down there to Charleston the other day and back and hadn't washed it in a good week and a half. In the past, this thing would be covered with insect splatter. Now, some people argue that the more modern cars, this is a bolt, have more streamlined windshields so the insects just go over with the airflow. Size of the windshield may make a difference. I don't know. There's definitely a difference. This 97 Mustang Cobra, there's some insect splatter on it, but 
I haven't washed the windshield in some time. I mean, it sounds terrible, like I'm lazy, but um, this old 2002 Ford Ranger. My wife washed it, I think, well over a week ago. We drive it nearly once a day to take trash to the recycle center, pick up lumber or hay for the horses, horse and goat. This little 2007 Focus, which is, I'm just driving until it finally uh, won't run anymore. Not much on it. That's mainly dust and dirt. So, where are all the insects? Hey, honey. Just doing a video on where the insects are, why we don't have any wasps or mud daubers. You agree with me, they've gone, right? We haven't seen them. There is a noticeable difference. Yeah. So the insects in general appear to be down. And, uh, It's disturbing. Even in that garden, I didn't have much time this year to maintain it. But usually I get these big giant, I think they're tobacco hornworm caterpillar. That's what I was trying to remember. It's big giant green caterpillar. I used to get on tomato plants. None this year at all. So what's happened to them? I found this uh, interesting and disturbing at the same time. So if uh, anybody's watching this has a comment, particularly about the wasps, I'd really like to hear it. Hope this was uh, interesting to you. If it was, please like the video, subscribe, and comment if you get a chance. Thank you very much.